here we see loss of photoelectric emission means uh, from the experimental study of photoelectric emission we summarize uh, some points here what are the points that points are uh, taken as the loss of uh, photoelectric emission the first one is that what we observe the photo current increases linearly with the intensity of incident radiation means the photo current small i is directly proportional to the intensity capital i of the incident radiation as we plot the graph between intensity and incident radiation incident radiation and the photo current is a straight line passing through the origin from the graph it is clear that the <coughs> photo current is a increasing linearly with the intensity of incident radiation and uh, the second one is that the saturation current the saturation current just depends on the intensity only the saturation current means the maximum current the maximum photo current just depends on the intensity of instant radiation only it does not depend on the frequency of the instant radiation and third one is the here if the frequency of incident radiation below the frequency below the minimum frequency called the threshold frequency photoelectric emission is not possible means uh, no electrons are emitted if the frequency of incident radiation if the frequency of incident radiation below the threshold frequency if nu is a uh, nu not in such a case no electron is emitted means photoelectric emission is not possible and also this threshold frequency nu not depends on the just nature of the metal surface it depends on the nature of the metal surface uh, but it does not depends upon the intensity of incident radiation the threshold frequency just depends upon the nature of the metal surface but it does not depend on the intensity of incident radiation it is a third one now we see fourth one the stopping potential or maximum kinetic energy of photo electrons these both uh, changes increases linearly with the frequency of uh, incident radiation but these two does not depend on the intensity of incident radiation here whatever the intensity of incident radiation even though it is high it is less uh, how much is the intensity of incident radiation here the stopping potential and uh, the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons just uh, increases linearly with the frequency of incident radiation only and uh, fifth one is uh, the photoelectric emission is an instantaneous process means uh, there is no time lag between the incident radiation and emission of electrons uh, approximately the time interval between the incident radiation and emission of electrons is a uh, less than approximately 10 power minus 9 seconds it may be equal to 10 power minus 9 seconds or less it's a very very small time interval it means there is no time lag there is no time lag between the emission of electrons uh, and uh, in the incident uh, radiation means uh, the time interval between the incident radiation and uh, emission of electrons it may be of the order of 10 power minus 9 seconds or it is less here uh, whatever may be the intensity of incident radiation even though the incident radiation is exceedingly dim even though it is, its intensity is very small even though intensity is very small but the photoelectric effect is an instantaneous process it is an instantaneous process means uh, the electrons will be emitted instantly means uh, between the incident radiation and emission of electrons the time lag is very small it is of the order of uh, 10 power minus 9 seconds or less now here we observe these five points from the experimental study of uh, photoelectric effect uh, now these uh, five points are summarized as a uh, loss of photoelectric emission